There are more than 350 million video surveillance cameras worldwide, recording petabytes of raw footage every day that is barely watched. What if you could transform all this unwatched video into real-time, actionable intelligence? Crimes would be solved faster. Cities would be safer. Companies would serve customers better. You have the footage. Why not put it to work? Introducing BriefCam, an easy-to-use, powerful software solution, enabling rapid review, search, and analysis of video content. Hours of video? Review it in minutes. Looking for something specific? Quickly pinpoint objects of interest by type, gender, size, color, direction, speed, and more. Slow to respond? Get real-time alerts of critical events. Missing critical operational metrics for decision support? Uncover invaluable operational insights for fact-based decision-making. In-store consumer behavior analytics? It's finally possible. Security, operational, and management teams are now more effective than ever with BriefCam. Law enforcement organizations are identifying suspects in record time and responding to threats more quickly. Smart cities are optimizing traffic and pedestrian patterns, keeping their residents safer and spurring economic growth. Transportation companies are proactively protecting travelers and improving their travel experience. Retailers are preventing loss and gaining merchandising intelligence. Imagine the value that BriefCam will bring to your organization. Think you've reached the limit of what video can do for you? Time to change your thinking. Get smarter, faster. BriefCam it. Good afternoon and welcome. Wow, what a crowd, or should I say, what an out crowd, and what an awesome event. My name is Trevor Matz, and I'm the CEO of BriefCam, and I couldn't be more pleased to be, joining, to be joined on stage by Sergeant John Michael O'Hare of the Hartford, Connecticut Police Department. Welcome to Israel, John. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you. It's great to have you with us, and it's great to have you as such a friend and a supporter of our company. BriefCam makes video searchable, actionable, and quantifiable. By transforming video surveillance into actionable intelligence, BriefCam protects what matters most, our families, our cities, and our most treasured national institutions. We're very proud to have been recognized for the important role that we've played in solving some of the most heinous crimes of the last few years, including the Boston Marathon bombing in my home city, less than two miles from my house. Every day, Law enforcement agencies in over 40 countries around the globe use BriefCam to prevent and solve crimes and save innocent lives. I'd like to hand it over to Sergeant O'Hart to tell you how the Hartford Police Department uses BriefCam daily to protect their citizens and save innocent lives in Connecticut. John. Thank you, Trevor. So first and foremost, when I take a look at BriefCam, I have a lot of video cameras in my city. And I can't watch them all, all at the same time. Can't put people in front of them. Those are man hours. So I wanted to know the power of Brief Cam before I purchased it. And the first thing I wanted to take a look at is something that's near and dear to me, which is a missing child. Uh, when I have a parent who has a missing child, they come to me frantic. They give me very basic information about that, that, that child. Maybe it's wearing a red shirt. Maybe she's wear, she has a pink bow in her hair. Utilizing this program, I could go into a crowd of this size and find somebody just like that in seconds. In this instance, I searched for a green shirt, and I found someone in a green shirt in seconds. And now I could trigger across my cameras and find that missing child, and I did it in our last marathon in seconds. I mean, that's power right there. You don't see that with anything else. This is something that is, like I said, that is near and dear to all of us. But I also use it to spur economic growth in my city. I have drug markets in my city. A lot of our U.S. cities, especially our, our poor uh, urban cities, have drug problems. I can focus on these because I know about them. But my camera does all the work. Well, I thought it did. The software does all the work, really. And this right here I'm taking a look at is a heat map. This tells me where my drugs are being sold from. But if you kind of look on the ends, it's a little darker. So now I know also where they're being sold. But by looking at this, I know where they're stashed. I'm saving man hours. I'm not sitting out on a rooftop. I'm doing this from the comfort of a desk. I'm deploying based upon what I see. And this is information I get. When I don't get information, when I get a, when I get a street that I need to bring back, 
I take it back house by house, street by street, block by block, until that neighborhood is safe again. Here I, I watched the house. I knew there was drug traffic. I eliminated the car noise from the video. I watched 24 hours of video. I localized it to people and where they went. See the dark red? 300 people went to that door in 24 hours. Right then and there, that tells me I need to, I need to take action. <laughs> right? So I did. We did, utilizing this software. Can I tell you, this took eight seconds. This took eight seconds. That's 32 man hours I saved. My team was deployed the following morning because the day before, they were deployed on something else I used. We use this to catch homicide suspects. I use this every day, by the way. But I use this to catch a homicide suspect. In the top left, that individual shoots and kills that guy he's talking to out in the parking lot. I have very minimal information. I have a white SUV. Running brief cam through, uh, through the traffic points four hours earlier, and typically I'll run brief cam for four days prior, and I let it process and I sit and go to work. Four hours prior, that individual was driving. Prior to committing the crime, they're gonna stop at the stoplight, they're going to obey traffic laws. And although he doesn't have a front license plate, I saw his, his rear registration marker when he stopped at the stop sign four hours prior to committing that crime. Utilizing that information and some enhancement work on that you can see he's sitting in the car, we identified that individual. We had no identifying inf information prior to this, and he's, he was arrested two days later in Massachusetts, a neighboring state. Here's another one. Now, this one's really scary. We had a guy driving through our neighborhoods looking for little girls at bus stops. He was pulling up in a white van and he did this on a morning. He went up to a 10 year old girl at a bus stop and he pulled up and he tried to coax her into the van. She said no, he insisted. She started to walk towards the van. That individual wasn't wearing any pants. So we can, we can guess where this was going next. An adult intervened and pulled the girl away. He flees the scene in a white van. Now all I have is video of him fleeing the scene. He's going so fast, uh, disregarding all traffic rules, I can't get a registration marker. I have a white van. So what I did is immediately as this call was coming through, we processed two hours of video prior to the incident in that neighborhood. And we found a white van obeying the traffic laws, this guy prior to the crime, identified the registration marker, put that out on the radio, and had this individual stopped within 25 minutes. Stopped, identified, and in custody. So the next phase was, he says, well, I, I didn't do anything. And the little girl goes, wait, by the way, he's tried this twice before. He says, no, I have not. This is going in front of a judge as I'm doing this. I process two weeks of video between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. and run this guy's van and see that it popped up twice. Twice in those two days, and that's at that time frame. 10 days prior and 11 days prior. The software found that in seconds. All I did was localize white van neighborhood. You literally create your own algorithms based on what you need to do. This guy, instead of getting out and released, is still in jail where he belongs. So one second, I just want to say, this spurs my economic growth. I take my city streets back. I give business analytics out to people. There's so much potential and power in this that we're going to bring our cities back utilizing Brief Camp. Thank you very much. Sergeant John Michael O'Hare.